We auditioned quite a few singers, and uh, you know, most of the time Phil would sing the part to show them what they were singing, and then they'd sing it, and it wouldn't be as good as Phil. I didn't want to not be the drummer. You know, this is what I did. This is my territory. <laughs> I don't want to go, don't push me out there, sir. Please don't take me out there. Don't send me out there with a microphone. I didn't want to do that. You know, it was a question really whether he wants to do it more than anything else. You know, we did, as far as I can remember, we did revisit some of the tapes and thought, is there really nobody that we've heard? You know, and we decided that there wasn't. Everyone looked so strange to him. They got no horns and they got no tail. They don't even know of our existence. Am I wrong to believe in the city of gold that lies in the deep distance? They cried and wept as they led him away to a cave. I think the big question mark was whether he could cut it on the, the sort of the more rock, out and out rock stuff, whether his voice was big enough. I remember nothing but good vibes from the audience, you know. That they wanted this to work. They didn't compare me with Pete. I was one of the guys in the band coming forward and I'd been there all along. I think I had more confidence in the band being able to be successful than they did initially.